Hello, Storytime friends. So this is Third Time's a Charm. I'm figuring out lots of different ways to do these videos and learning as I go. And just remember, it's never too late and you're never too old to learn new stuff. And we're going to start today with some Valentine things. And we'll do some of the Valentine things um, every week during February, just because it's fun to have something repetitive that we can do together. And we're going to start today with a book called My Furry Valentine. It's actually furry on the front. It's really cute. And this is by Deborah Zemke. How do you say, be my valentine? We say it with flowers. We say it with rings. We walk on the beach, wing in wing. We say it with spots. We say it in lights. We say it with the look in our eyes. Look at those happy little snails. We say it with poetry. Roses are red, violets are blue, Holly want a cracker, and I want two. We go for a cruise, on a cruise. We howl at the moon. We make beautiful music. We croak in tune. We shake tail feather. We share nine lives together. Nine happy cats. We give chocolate ants. We join arms and dance. Look, there's a heart made out of fish. We say it with smiles. We write it in letters. We fly thousands of miles to be home together. Be my sweet honey. Be my furry valentine. The end. It's a cute, sweet little book. Five little hearts all in a row. The first one said, I love you so. The second one said, Will you be my Valentine? The third one said, If you'll be mine. The fourth one said, I'll always be your friend. The fifth one said, We'll all be friends until the end. So something super cute, super easy. We like those counting down type rhymes. And our other Valentine story, Valentine activity for this week is Six Little Valentines. Six Little Valentines were sent to my house. The first one said, I love you from Mouse. Five Little Valentines in my mailbox. The next one said, be mine, love Fox. Four little valentines, haven't you heard? The next one said, you are sweet, from bird. Three little valentines, just for me. The next one said, be my honey, love, bee. Two little valentines mailed with care. This one said, here's a hug, from bear. The last little valentine from my friend Jay. This one said, happy valentine's day fun cute little poem and our next story is called snow this is by marion dane bauer and the winter world is cold the trees are bare the grass is brown gray clouds crawl across the sky 
clouds are crystals of ice. Each bit of ice clings to a speck of dust. I think there's the dust right there. The specks of ice and dust cling to one another. They grow so heavy that they drop from the cloud. And then what do we have? Snow! When the air is very cold, the snowflakes stay small and bright. When the air is not so cold, the flakes grow soft and larger and larger. Have you ever noticed that before? It's kind of fun to play in the big fluffy snowflakes. They grow big enough to catch on your mitten or on your tongue. Each snowflake has six sides. They come twirling to the earth in a billion different shapes. And like we know from uh, Snowflake Bentley, every snowflake is unique and, and different, but they all have six sides. Snow dresses the trees, snow covers the grass. Snow keeps the flowers warm through the long winter. Did you know that? Not cold, it keeps them warm. When spring comes, snow melts into puddles, into rivers, into lakes, and gives the earth a fresh, cool drink. But while winter is here, snow makes the cold world beautiful and fun. And this book is a Backyardigans book. And if I were to have kids watch a TV show, I think it would be this one. I would always recommend this TV show, even though I'd much rather see kids read or play outside than, than actually watch TV. But these kids in this show... They all share a backyard and they spend the whole time creating an amazing adventure every day in their backyard using nothing but who they are. And this one is called Journey Around the World. Oops, missed a page. The world is flat, said Queen Tasha. The world is round, said Explorer Pablo. Prove it said Queen Tasha. We will sail that way, said Explorer Uniqua. The world is round, so our ship will end up back here. We will bring you gifts from around the world. Off went the brave explorers. They stopped in Crete to eat. In Crete, they bought wheat. Next, they stopped in Yemen. In Yemen, they each bought a lemon. They stopped in Manila. In Manila, they found vanilla. Now this is vanilla, but it doesn't look like what you might find in your pantry, does it? So vanilla is made from the seed pods of the vanilla plant. And it's a very strong flavor when it's fresh, like it is in this picture. They stopped in Japan. In Japan, they bought rice in a pan. They sailed across the Pacific Ocean. They collected stew in Peru. They sailed on. In New York, they bought a fork. They crossed the Atlantic Ocean. In Cameroon, they found a spoon. Then the ship sailed back. Queen Tasha was waiting. Queen Tasha was worried. I guess they fell off the edge of the world, she said. We're back, shouted Explorer Pablo. The world is round, said Explorer Austin. Queen Tasha was surprised. Prove it, she said. They showed Queen Tasha the wheat, the lemons, the vanilla, and all of the things from around the world. The world is round, said Queen Tasha, and they made a snack with the food they brought back. And that's how every Backyardigans episode ends, is with a snack. Somebody's tummy rumbles, and it's time for a snack. And I have one more story for you before maybe it's time for your snack time. So last week, we read a story about a fish that stole a hat. Today, we have a story about a bear who wants his hat back. 
and watch carefully because the conversation is between Bear and one animal on each page. I Want My Hat Back by John Clayson. My hat is gone. I want it back. There's a fox. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any questions. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything at all today. I have been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. I miss it so much. What's the matter? I have lost my hat and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It is red and pointy and I have seen my hat. There you go, he runs past all the animals. There's a turtle on top of the rock. You, you stole my hat. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. Oops. Got a guess? I love my hat. Excuse me. Have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway. Just doesn't work very well to take things that don't belong to you, does it? Poor rabbit. He discovered that the hard way, just like the fish did last week. Well, I hope you guys have had a fun, snowy week. Make sure you stay bundled up, and I'll see you next week when, after we have several cold, cold days, and we'll have some more story time next week, next Friday. And in the meantime, there's some other crafts and some fun things for you upstairs at the library, and I hope you have a super weekend. I'll see you later.